Hello everyone, welcome to join this NASDAQ YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly deploy Apache Guacamole into your dock environment using Potainer. Guacamole is a client list remote desktop gateway, free, open source. It's not new, it's been around for quite a few years and it's getting more popular now. I had a video and blog post to show you how to do this deployment about three years ago. I was using a Docker from ODNU Guacamole, but this GitHub project hasn't been updated for the last two and three years. And now I found a new one which is forked from this original project, but it keep updating. I'm gonna show you how to deploy and then how we can create connection for our popular Windows server and the Linux server using username, password, or private key file to log in. So now let's start it. First, let's look at how Guacamole this client list remote desktop software looks like. So I already installed one. I installed it under my domain and I already created three connections. The first connection is Ubuntu using the private key to log in. So it's a seamless login. You don't need to have any agent to be installed. And also able to log in to Ubuntu desktop without using an agent. Using CRM software shouldn't feel like a battle. Monday's CRM is not like any sound supported very well. And this is no VNC XRDP desktop I installed before in this video. It also support to using RTP protocol to log into popular Windows desktop using RTP protocol. Login experience is seamless. And thanks for HTML5, you don't need to have any agent. The sound support also amazing. I opened three sessions. You can pick any of them from here, bottom right on your screen. They will list all sessions so you can switch them seamlessly. As mentioned, if you have this software installed in the cloud, so as like me, you don't need to have any other client installed on your local. Just need a browser, then you can access your remote server. It will be very helpful when you are in special environment which has a limited outside port. For example, some office environment, they may limit you to use RDP protocol or SSH protocol, VNC protocol, those protocols, then you can use this Guacamole software to create your remote desktop gateway. So you can use in the browser, using the popular 443 protocol to access your remote servers. That's how it looks like. Now let's uh, start to create the Docker and uh, set it up. So you already saw a demo on how Guacamole this remote desktop gateway works. The reason why we are using this Docker image is because of it's much simpler than original Guacamole deployment. Original Guacamole deployment will require multiple dockers and database, but this one is much simpler. You put all in one and the deployment just one command and one image supported a different architecture. Of course, you will still need a virtual machine in the cloud 
which you can find out from my blog post and also videos regarding how to get the free virtual machines from Oracle Cloud. You also need to deploy Docker, Potainer, NPM. So those all things already shows in my videos. You can look at and find out link from below. Once all those done, then deployment is much simpler. If you like command line, just one command you can throw into your virtual machine, which I'm going to use. As you can see, this is ARM based architecture 64 bit virtual machine, and which has some um, 24 gigabytes, and I think it's four CPU to use um, more than enough for our list project. I already have a couple of uh, dockers running there, WordPress and Potainer running there. So to deploy it using Potainer, as I mentioned, I had a blog posted, but this one, I'm gonna have a new one to update it. Image, I already put it off. If you haven't, that's fine. It can be automatically downloaded once you create a new container. So we're gonna add a container. So you just need to follow the screen shows a next couple steps. We just need to follow, give a name, guacamole, that's what I'm gonna use. And you need to find out the image, which you always can get it from here. Copy paste in. Of course you need to expose a port. So I'm not changing anything. I'm doing the 8080 to remind the setup uh, you have to open this 8080 from your Oracle security group to expose it to internet. So endpoint, as endpoint, working DIR using config. So we need a volume as well. So we're gonna map a volume from local config folder. I'm gonna map into a host guacamole folder. Use bind and it's writable. So this folder I already created. If you haven't, you can go back to your host and create this folder structure, which is hosting all of your Docker data here. The reason why you need to map it to your host is that just in case your Docker crash during the install, then you have your configuration here. You can easily remap back to your new Docker and your all data will be there. You won't lose them. Make sure it's go to the bridge and the restart policy. I always using a net stopped after this time, just do the deploy container. If you haven't pulled the image before, then it may take a one or two minutes to pull image and then Docker will be up and running. In my case, I already pulled the image, so the whole process can be much faster than usual. So you can monitor the memory usage, CPU usage, comparing to the host, the 24 gig memory and four CPU, the usage here is nothing. As mentioned, you already opened port 8080 to the internet and hoping you already done that on the Oracle site or any VPS cloud firewall. You have to open this port 8080. After that, you just need to visit port 8080 on your VPS. And using 140 this IP, that's my public IP for my virtual machine and port 8080 has been opened so I can access it. That's very simple, straightforward process. Default username, quark admin, 
hack admin same so just log in it will be prompt you to change the password of course and you will need to change this to something different go to settings users so we have quack admin ideally you want to create a new one let's do that i'm going to create a nasdaq password just make a complicated one permission give it all permissions once you create that one you can log out nasdaq we don't have any connection configured yet so but we're going to delete this quack admin user since we already have a new user for this project So at this moment we finish deployment we change the user one thing we would like to do is change the url right now we are using ip address plus port number 8080 which we defined in a docker deployment it's not convenient at all we would like to use our own domain to do that a couple of things you need to have one thing is you need to have your own domain and you are managing your domain entries DNS entries and also you need to have this nginx proxy manager if you don't have nginx proxy manager then you can watch my video here you will find out uh, how to do that it's same deployment as guacamole it's using a docker but it's uh, very convenient for you to use And also you need to have a DNS entry. So here um, we're gonna create a remote DNS entry on the my domain 51sec.org. So this IPv4 address actually it is npm proxy service IP as you can see. I'm accessing my npm through this 132 IP address. And also I already did the same thing using my own domain to access to it I already have npm configured here so we are going to do similar settings for our guacamole deployment so we're going to create this DNS entry save it after that we're going to come back to here create a new proxy host so domain we're gonna use remote dot 51 sec org that's domain name ip address it will forward into this ip we're gonna copy it paste here and the port number we know it's 8080 save it You will see this entry here. One thing you will notice it's not using SSL, so it's simple to change that. We're gonna get the SSL certificate, just request a new SSL certificate. Say in less than a minute, you should be able to get the new SSL and it will change to HTTPS access even your destination is HTTP now let's give it a try we're gonna use remote.51sec.org to access to it we're gonna use NASSEC to log in you can see users uh, we don't have connections um, I'm gonna create another video to show you how to create all those connections since this one only covers deployment and it's already long enough uh, next video gonna give you more deep dive into how to create your new direct connection to your Linux XRDP server to Linux SSH server using your own private key 
and also how to RDP into your Windows machine. There's some tricks there. Um, default settings might not working. You need to tune it a bit for, to get in. I will explain that in my next video. Keep tuned. Again, if you like this video, give me some up and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, please thank you for your watching. Thank you.